Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and welcome back to another episode of No One But You. So, shockingly, some of you figured out what my plan was. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're, we're checking on Yui, because that was an obvious. But yeah, let's, um, let's go see if Yui is still alive or not, because that's, that's the main thing. Alright, why not? I still have time. Besides, it would be nice to hear Yui's side of the story before interrogating Megami. Oop, my mouse is not cooperating. Yep, she's sitting on the bench, like always. I started walking towards Yui. Hey there, Yui. Shh, not, <coughs> not now. I noticed that Yui was playing on her handheld gaming console. Oh, I never knew you were a gamer. Oh, guys, she's a gamer. Oh, this throws a wrench into our wafu decisions. In fact, I was beginning to doubt the very existence of the legendary gamer girl. But if any of my friends fit that description, it's Yui. She looks entirely focused on the game, as though I'm not even here. Cut! Damn! I was so close to getting a perfect score. I looked at the sc at the screen and tried to figure out what game Yui was playing. <coughs> tempo, p tempo paradise. Wasn't. Wasn't like Temple Run? Wasn't that like one of the games that was like real big like not that long ago? Well, I mean, it was a while ago, but I feel like that's a, they're playing a joke on that name. Tempo Paradise, huh? You know it? Yeah, um, not the best at rhythm games, though. I could tell from the <laughs> from the way you just made me lose. <laughs> what? That wasn't my fault. Sure, it wasn't. Yui, <laughs> Yui shut down her console and put it aside. Are you here to talk about what happened yesterday? Because I don't have anything to say. I'm not here to interrogate you or anything. I'm just here to see how you're doing. I'm fine, Hideki. It wasn't a big deal. So, you're not mad at me? I will be if you keep asking these stupid questions. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. I figured Yui wouldn't want to talk. This conversation has already gone on for longer than I thought it would. Do you like her? Oh shit! No, we don't, Yui. It's fine. This, I mean, we don't even need to. Pfft. It's like what? No, it's, there's no what. No, we don't. It's fine. Uh, where did that come from? I see you hang out with her quite a lot. I so I was just curious. I don't know. I like being around her. She's pretty upbeat and fun, but I can't really tell if I have feelings for her or anything. D don't ask me these kinds of questions. You're making me all confused. That's the point. I'm just messing with you. She said that with a smile too. Classic Yui. You mess. <clears throat> you can mess with me later. It's time to get back to class. Are you coming? No, I'm gonna stay here for a bit longer. Dude, the exams are literally days away. Can you really afford to miss class now? Just go back to class, Hideki. You're the one who needs them. Suit yourself. I'll see you later. I waved goodbye to Yui and walked to class. Bye, Yui. <laughs> Break time rolled around, and Megumi was still at her desk, <laughs> vigilantly writing the notes off the board. Damn, that was a lot of information. I can't believe all of this will be in the exam. I got most of it down, but the teacher rubbed off most of it. I got most of it down, but the teacher rubbed off most of it before- That, that doesn't make sense, mate. Uh, my efforts are getting me nowhere. Ooh. I should do something else for a while before my <clears throat> before my mind. That's wrong. I should do something else for a while to take my mind off studying. Oh, this is so difficult. This game actually has so many good characters. Ah, uh, I have a feeling we've got to start like focusing down on a character pretty soon. Otherwise, we're gonna get. We've gotta decide who. I I feel like this game might actually be a bit of a longer game. Ah, uh, so I mean, there's only two. I mean, we are gonna interrogate Megami. Out of the question. Do we want to go to the roof, or do we want to go to the library? Oh, that's that's the decision of the ages. Roof or library club. Oh, dang. Shinatsu is really mysterious, and I do really wonder what's going on with her. 
But I really like Shiro as well. Ah, uh, I guess it's just time to man up and pick one. Going to the literary club. Shinatsu it is. I should probably probably pay the club room, club room a visit. I don't want to become a member in name only. I walked into the hallway and started heading towards the club room. Yo, <laughs> Misaki-senpai. Uh? Oh, Hideki. You scared me for a second there. What's with the formalities? I don't know. Just for fun, I guess. I walked in. I walked inside after closing the door behind me, then sat on the couch. I didn't think I'd find you in the club room since I came straight here after class. Even so, you still beat me here. It seems like I'm faster than you, Hideki. <laughs> you probably are, considering how out of shape I am. But I'd say the real reason that the club room <clears throat> is on the same floor as your classroom. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you said that if, if you already didn't know. Uh, of course I did. I was just messing with you. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I should have seen that one coming. So Shinatsu, yes. Why don't we continue the continue what we started last time? What what did we do last time? When what how um I'm talking about the story. Oh. A lonely universe. Yes. Shinatsu. Yes, okay. That makes much more sense. More sense than what? Shinatsu walked over to the window and picked up the novel that was sitting right next to it. Alright, should I begin reading? Wait, let me get more comfortable. Okay, much better. Don't you fall asleep. Don't worry, I won't. We're gonna fall asleep. Okay, let's continue. Doo doo. <laughs> The boy grew closer and closer to his destination. As he got close enough, he started looking around. The cottage wasn't big, but at the same time it wasn't very small either. It looked just right to him. The boy walked to the door and knocked three times, but there was no answer. Again, the boy knocked three times. No answer. Just as the boy was about to leave, he heard the door beginning to unlock. A little girl was looking at him from a small gap between the door. <clears throat> um, this feels so meta. I'm reading a visual novel, reading a book inside the visual novel, having to think about voices for the books inside the book I'm reading. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it's a little girl. He says, "Hello, little one. Do you live?" <clears throat> oh, is this is this the boy talking? Oh, this is the boy. I'm all over the place. <clears throat> Hello, little one. Do you live here by yourself? The boy asked. She shook her head. As she did, a little boy and another girl came to the door. The, the, the girl who opened the door and the other boy... The girl who opened the door and the other boy looked younger than me, though... Thought the boy to himself. Wow, this is messing with me, the way this is reading. <clears throat> the blonde girl is probably the same age as me, if not one year older. The, the three of us living here, said the blonde girl. The boy told the three of them about his situation and how he was lost. Nowhere to go, just walking aimlessly, he came across this small cottage. Not knowing the reason why, the blonde girl invited him in and said he could stay for however long he wanted. Maybe they felt pity for me, the boy thought. I'm, by the way, I'm giving up doing voices with inside the story because... Pfft, it's too many voices. <clears throat> or maybe they want to help me. The boy was confused. At the same time, he was happy that he had found a place to stay the peop and people to interact with. The cottage wasn't very big from the inside, but four people could fit in it nicely. Some of the walls were patched up, and there was only one window looking out the back side of the cottage. The three of them had a table ready. The boy wasn't hungry, but there was something about eating food with the others that <clears throat> that made him do it. The boy was happy with the cottage. He liked the place and the people in it. And so, he, <clears throat> he started staying there. But after time passed, he wasn't just staying. He was living there. It became his home. The four of them were happy together. They would always play outside and run down the big meadows only to come back when the sun went down and gather around a small fire while talking all night. Many days and nights went by. 
They were having so much fun that they didn't even keep track of the time. But that didn't last. One day, the boy decided to go to sleep early instead of sitting next to the fire. And when he woke up, the three kids were nowhere to be seen. The boy walked over to the window and looked outside. No one was there. The cottage was empty. The wind was hallowing strongly between the wooden sh cracks. For the first time, he realized how scary this place was. He walked to the door and went outside, hoping to find one of them. But he was the only one out there. Hmm. I feel like this story has big meaning, but I don't know what it is. <coughs> And that's the end <clears throat> and that's the end of Act Two. We should stop here for now. Oh, what? <clears throat> were you <clears throat> things were just getting deep. I wonder what happened. <clears throat> it's pretty interesting, isn't it? It sure is. I never thought <clears throat> I'd like this type of story this much. I knew you would like it. Did she know because we've heard it before? <laughs> then you must know me much better than I know myself. I should hope so. I'm, oh, weird. Weird a little bit. So she must have obviously noticed before we lost all our memories, I suppose. <clears throat> I'm really digging this whole club thing. You make it really fun. <clears throat> but the bell already rang, so I should hurry back to class before my teacher loses it. Yeah, I should do the same. I'll try to see you later. And if not, I'll see you after the exams. Good luck with your studies, Shinatsu. You too, Hidaki. Bye. Waving, sh wait, <coughs> waving Shinatsu a farewell, I walked over to the door and headed back to class. Can you just imagine what freaking psychopath's doing right now? She's probably just like slowly losing it now that we haven't talked to her all day. <clears throat> By the time school had ended for the day, I had exhausted every fiber of my being. Writing down notes, worrying about Yui and Megami, and stressing out about exams all at once was taking its toll. As a result, by the time I had written down all the notes for the day, I was literally the last student to go home. Literally, huh? You sure? Except for the ghost, of course. Hey, Mom. Oh, Hideki, you're home a bit early. Really? I'm pretty sure I was the very last student to leave school. I guess, I guess it must be because I came straight home for once. You didn't go out with your friends today. I thought I'd just spend the evening in my room, catching up on some sleep. The others are probably preparing for exams anyway. You should do the same, you know. Yeah, yeah, I will. But the only thing on my mind right now is food. All of this studying has me starved. The studying you, sh you haven't been doing, you mean? Either way, you're right on time. Dinner will be ready in five minutes. Go wash up, then join me in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. After eating dinner with my mom, I returned to my bedroom. I promised I would <clears throat> I would study, but the second my head hit the pillow, my body had ar had other ideas. I don't know why I'm so tired today. Dream time. Is the school work getting to me? Is it stress? Am I worried about my friends? At any rate, all I want to do now is sleep the night away. Ah, oh, where it's dream time. It's totally dream time. Dream time? Is it not dream time? Oh no, we skipping. Oh, we skip. Oh shit. Was that a whole week? Have we not talked to Megami in a whole week? As the days leading up to my exam period rapidly passed by, I found myself once again waking up without feeling refreshed in the slightest. Although my usual nightmares have been kept at bay, the monster known as studying has been ruining my life. I've been getting little sleep lately, and with summer break riding on the, riding on the results of my upcoming exams, that won't change anytime soon. Good morning, honey! Ready for the last day of school? I would be, if school wasn't being replaced by mandatory studying exams. Honestly, who decided to give us a week off school slow, solely for the purpose of studying, only then to drag us back for exams? Fair enough. School has been tiring recently, and now the exams are here. I just want this week to be over. Don't worry, it'll be over before you know it. You kids these days want to rush everything instead of enjoying your youth. Yeah, Mom, because you don't have any youth left. <laughs> no. Ooh. 
Oh, excuse me. I had a burp that just wouldn't do its thing. No, I want to brush my exams precisely so I can go out with my friends and enjoy my youth. Okay, good point. See? Jeez, Mom. You're really on the ball this morning, Hedy. All of this studying must have given you super focused. Don't worry, I'll fade in a week or so. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I want you to do well, but I'm also unnatural to see you so focused on something other than video games. Just how little faith does my mother have in me? Anyway, I guess it's about time you left. You don't want to be late on your last day of class. If you say so. Later, Mom. I finished eating and waved goodbye as I walked out the door. Doo doo doo. Music's so nice in this game. Hmm, there aren't many people here today. It seems like some of the students decided to take to, to stay home studying. Or at least, that's what they'll tell their teachers. Maybe I should have done the same. Should have, that's what I would have tried to do, but then my mom would have made me go to school. Boring. Psst. Hideki. Hideki. Oh, wait, we haven't talked to Rio in a while. What? Let's get out over here. Um, what? This class is so boring, and it's just revision of what we learned before. So let's just ditch it and go downtown or something. Uh, I don't know. Um, we? See, this is the problem. Because if we go in town, we might meet somebody else. The game has specifically not told us who else hasn't showed up to school. But I don't really want to go anywhere with Ryo, so we'll just stay, I guess. Although I have a feeling, I have a feeling we probably would have met Yui. That's probably a good chance of what would have happened. We'd better stay in class. I don't want to get in trouble on the last day. Pfft, what trouble? There are like 10 people in here, including us. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind. Let's not risk it. Pfft, you're no funny, Deiki. Have it your way. Ryo walked over to his own desk and sat down. Sorry, Ryo, but I have studying to do. If you want to fail the exams and attend summer school, that's your problem. Oh, what would have happened if we left? What would have? That's that's the that's the thing with visual novels. You don't know until you play them the second time and then the fourth. But yeah, you know. With all the excitement from my day having passed by, I stared. See what what excite see this is probably a reused line that automatically happens at the end of that day. What excitement would have been had? <sighs> From my day having passed by, I stared blankly at the ceiling in my room. I had neither the energy nor the desire to study anymore. I simply want summer vacation to arrive. I can't believe summer vacation is already almost here. I've been here for two full months now, and it's gotten to the point where I really do feel like this is my home. I've had so much fun here, I never thought I'd make so many friends so easily. On the other hand, I've spent much of my time worrying about my friends and trying to be sociable trying to be sociable that I haven't had any time to myself. My entire school life has been has been me jumping from one person to the next, either listening to their problems or allowing them to create more for me. No, that's unfair. Even if friendships breed conflict, I brought all of this upon myself. It is not as though they mean any harm. Besides, from from tomorrow on, I'll have all the alone all the alone time I need. In the depths of study, in the depths of study hell. <laughs> oh, just one day ahead, eh? Interesting. So, what's gonna happen today? Scribble, scribble, scribble. <laughs> Scribbling, dots, and scribbling. Ugh, just kill me now. My first day of full-on exam preparation, and I'm already bored out of my mind. This is absolutely not how I wanted to spend my weekend. But the exams are one week from today, so I can't afford not to study. I just need to quit complaining, buckle down, and study my ass off. More scribbling, lots of scribbling, and dots. Hmm, I wonder what Megami is doing. Megami? We're wondering what Megami is doing. Right now she's a- Right now she's a torturing Shiro because we haven't seen Shiro in a long time. I'm gonna study because- Screw Megami! No, brain, stop it. 
You don't really want to know what she's doing. You just don't want to be studying. <laughs> Perfect! We don't really want to know what she's doing. Good job, Hideki. Now, back to work. And don't even think about distracting my friends. What about what other people are up to? Can we, like, ask... Like, can we, like, go for a walk and go see Shinatsu? That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Captain's Log, Day 3. After two days of isolation, I can feel myself succumbing to unnatural desires. Surrounded only by books, I continue my studies of human culture, all the while longing for human contact. The feel, the touch, the smell of another human being. All sensations I have yearned for since my isolation began. Okay, I really need to talk to someone. All this studying is driving me insane. Ooh. Uh, maybe I should send Shiro a text message. Okay, why? It hurts so bad. Oh, no. The question is, if I keep just saying study, will I somehow decide for go to a walk and go see Shinatsu? Because when I decided to go to the literary, the club room, I picked, it's just, I, that was it, I picked Shinatsu. But now it's giving me the choice again. I don't know what to do. Oh. This is so difficult. I want to say hi to Shiro. I want to say hi to Shiro so bad. No, study more. Oh, my heart. No, I can't risk infecting her with my insanity. I'll just keep studying until I pass out. Oh, my God. Monday, Tuesday... It's now Tuesday. You can do it, Hideki! And the wizard dies at the end of the movie. Everyone's, everyone saw it coming, but I was still mad when Megami spoiled it for me. Okay. But enough about that. How was your day? Um, are you sure you're not just using me as a way to avoid studying? Whoa! You should become a detective or something. Who says I'm not one already? I wouldn't be surprised. Now head back to your studies before I call the high authority, young man. Hein. Scribble. Scribble. Wow, this is even more complicated than math. I need a little break. <laughs> oh, oh, this is killing me. <laughs> oh, study. Nah, I'll probably be for the best that I don't disturb her. I don't want to find out what happens when someone interrupts Yui's studies. Besides, I still have plenty to do myself. I swear, there better be a freaking Shinatsu at the end of this study hell. Wednesday. Thursday. This is it. This is it, everybody. It's gotta be it. There's no other, there's no other way. Uh, yes, that sounds about right. And if I apply this theory to my own life, then I can finally confirm how fucking bored I am! <laughs> I threw my book at the wall. Well, that was pointless and stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Speaking of which, maybe I should reply to one of the 120 texts Ryo sent me. No! Eh. Uh, I'll see you. No! Do we seriously didn't get a single Shinatsu option? And finals begin tomorrow. Sure, I should really finish all of this. Oh, frick. I screwed up. I should have just talked to Shiro or Yui when I had the chance. No! After awaking from what I could only conclude to be a study induced coma, I found myself at school sitting at my desk. Time for exams, huh? All right, let's get the show on the road. Time to... As I took a look at the room, I realized that I was... Oh, what the heck? Wait a minute. Could this mean 
The exams are already over? No, wait, something isn't right. It's eerily quiet in here. Almost as though... <clears throat> are you scared? Huh? I looked over at the teacher's desk again and saw someone who looked exactly like me standing there. You again? Wait, <clears throat> I remember him from somewhere. Have I seen him in another dream? But if I know that I'm dreaming, does this mean that this is a lucid dream? You look stressed. This really is this really what's stressing you out? Exams? How juvenile. Is he mocking me? What do you want from me? I am merely making sure you are, you walk the right path. Right path? What the hell are you talking about? The truth. Oh shit. That was weird. It's Friday. We can't have school today. That wouldn't make any sense. Hmm. Damn. What a dream. Just what I need before my first day of exams. Hmm. Exams on a Friday. That's weird. <coughs> All right. The time has come. You can do this, Hideki. Good morning, Hideki. What's so good about it? Today marks the first day of the dreaded exams. Aw, oh, don't be like that. Today is a fantastic day. And you know what? Because you're one day closer to summer break? Well, there's that. But mostly because I finally get to see you again. <laughs> Calm down, Megami. It's only been one week. Yeah, but I felt like an eternity. Next time you're in full-on study mode, you have to call me at least one night, okay? Once a night. Otherwise, I'll come to your house and make sure you're alright. Yeah, seriously? Okay, okay, I get it. Maybe I was a bit too much of a hermit. Next time I'll lock myself up in my room, I'll be sure to... Take me with you! To call you. Good enough! <laughs> oh, this girl is scary. Yeah, mate, she sure is. Anyway, we can worry about sleeping arrangements later. <coughs> Just forget about everything and let's focus on our exams. Yeah, you're right. I'll go to my desk now and study a bit more before the pre professor comes. Good luck, Hideki. Good luck to you too, Megami. Wait, what was that about sleeping arrangements? Yeah, mate, she's a nutter. Just get used to it. Now that everyone is prepared, let us <coughs> let us begin the exam. As the teacher full, uh, as teachers flooded the classroom, we all focused on the test papers in front of us. Here goes nothing. Scribbles, scribbles, dots. Oh, no dots. Where are the dots at? Dots? Nope. Okay, there's one down. Now time for the rest. Scribbles, scribbles, dots. No dots. We're too focused for dots. Is everyone ready for the last exam of the day? Aside from the odd sigh here and there, the classroom remained silent. Wonderful. Then without further ado, let us begin. Hmm. We, I, wonder if we'll, I wonder if we like do well because we like, didn't text anybody. Ah, uh, it's over. The final exam conquered at last. Until we start a new tomorrow. Oh, hey, Shiro. I'm so sorry I didn't text you. Hello, Hideki. Oh, hey there, Shiro. How, are you, how did you do today? Uh, I'm not really sure. How about you? I'd say I'm the same... I'm the same clueless ship as usual. Maybe I did well. Maybe I crashed and burned. Uh, I get the feeling every time I walk out of an exam. Yeah, and tomorrow... <clears throat> we'll just be a repeat all over again. Yeah, with that in mind, I should hurry home and cram a little bit more. Alright, I'll probably do the same. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, Shiro. Bye. Why have we seen Shinatsu? I'm so sad. All I want. Why aren't we walking by the bridge in the morning? Why are we just going straight to class? I'm so sad. And then, the monster ripped the clothes off, and... Oh my god, Ryo! Do you think we have time to talk about Ma'unga now? But, I was just getting to the really good and strangely sad part. And how about we talk about this stuff after, we, after we're done with this hell? Fine! The teacher's here anyway. 
Oh crap, it's about to start. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -dum -bum. Almost done. Exams nearing completion. That was this last day? Oh, and that's the last one. My exams have been completed for another day. Just one more day left and I'll be free at last. Sunday, the 10th of June. Exams, final day. Hey, Yui. I was having a problem with this question and... The answer is 34. How did you even know what the question is? I was having difficulty with. Because I know you, Hideki. Ugh, no you don't. Crap, she was right. What are you doing anyway? I noticed that Yui was drawing on her notebook. I don't know, I'm bored. You really are <clears throat> in, this, in the exam spirit, aren't you? No sooner had I said that than the teacher walked in. Come on, come on everyone. In their seats, we have time, we don't have time to spare. This is your last day of exams. Don't you be scared now. God, my head hurts. Come on, Hideki, focus. This is the final exam before you're done with this crap. Yay! Finally, the torture is over. The exams are all over, and my life can finally return to relative normality all at last. Just three days until the results, just three days until the results, a school trip, and finally, summer break. We didn't get to see Shinatsu at all. I, I, I'm just crying on the inside at this point. I'm just crying all day. I'm so sad. No Shinatsu. With the fruits of my labor awaiting me, I made my way to school early in the day. We wouldn't have any classes. It was really just a day to check our exam results and finish any business we had at school before summer break. And, of course, for any student who failed miserably, summer school. Wow, the hallway sure is crowded today. Some students are overjoyed, others are crying. It really is in the sight. It really is a sight to behold. <sighs> Akun! Oh, hey there, Meg. Did you see the results yet? No, not yet. I was waiting for you. Aw, oh, that's sweet. No, it's not. It's creepy. It's far less creepier than the usual displays of kindness. Okay, then. Let's check it out together. All right. We both walked over to the... L I, I was going to stop the episode, but I thought maybe we were going to go see Shinatsu, but obviously not. We got Mega Memes dead. We both walked over to the list of the results. Please be a decent mark. Please be a decent mark. Whoa, Hideki. I didn't know you had it in you. You totally aced it. I can't believe this myself. That studying did pay off after all. All those sleepless nights weren't a waste after all. Yui still has the highest mark, has a higher mark than me, but of course I won't complain. You received pretty much the same mark. He, it must be fate. Huh? Oh, yeah. Anyway, now that that's over, I can look forward to a stress-free vacation. Not before the stu school trip. You can't. School trip? Oh, right, the school trip. Um, where are we going again? I can't believe you, Hideki. How could you forget? We're going to a hot spring resort. Of course we are. Oh, that's right. Hot springs. Of course. Wait, what? And that's where we're going to end off this episode. Uh, I hope you liked. I hope you guys appreciated a little bit longer, longer episode than usual. But I wanted to get this series moving along because it seems like it's going to take us a little while. But anyway, guys, I've been Fiddle Ferret, and I'll see you back on the prowl next time. Bye bye.